Hello everyone and welcome aboard. Today we are in one of the more famous parts of Newport Beach, right next to the Balboa Ferry and right in front of the Fun Zone Ferris Wheel because we have one of our most famous boats I've ever reviewed for you today. The preferred ride of David Hasselhoff and Pamela Anderson, a 1974 LA County Baywatch lifeguard boat built by Seaway. You don't have to say it, I already know what you're thinking. That is not the boat I'm reviewing. That is a yellow scarab the producers used for the show. This boat right here that they're jumping out in front of the helicopter of, that is the real LA County Baywatch boat that the lifeguards have been using for the last 50 years. This seaway is not only unique, but it is also rare, with only one other one ever being auctioned off to the public. It was generously lent to me by Newport Harbor Tours. You can check them out in the description below. And they offer this sweet ride for charter. So if you and your family and friends want to come check it out, go ahead and click the link in the description for Newport Harbor Tours. They're a great company. You can go ride in style around Newport Harbor on this bad boy. And if you have a boat in the Southern California area that I can review, shoot me an email at info at jakec.com. Let's jump into this review of this 1974 Seaway, old number seven. Now, the first thing you notice when you approach these Seaways are the color schemes. They're all painted the same in what is the super unique and beautiful seafoam green and orange with the white all the way around the boat. And when you get up to the bow, you can see that each one has its own number designation from LA County so that helicopters above can see which vessel they're talking to. But once you get past the awesome color scheme and start looking into the details of the vessel, like its construction, you'll see that it is made of predominantly wood. The weight from the wood construction mixed with its high bow makes this thing incredibly stable at sea and gives the boat one of its major characteristics of just being a tank out in the ocean. Another unique piece of the exterior of the vessel is this radar post. Instead of going with an arch, LA County opted with the post, which their sirens, radars, and all their equipment's mounted onto. Then as we head to the stern of the vessel, we step onto what is a molded swim step and enter through an open rear transom that was designed for lifeguards to be able to step and dive off the back of the vessel into the water. This open transom is also helpful for pulling people aboard who are maybe unconscious or on a backboard. Once you step into the rear cockpit, the first thing you notice are these beautifully quilted seats with the orange piping. This might come as a surprise to you, but these are not stock from LA County. These have been added afterwards. The LA County guys weren't so concerned about lounging around and relaxing and looking nice and cool, but Newport Harbor Tours is, which is why they have these beautiful seats installed here. Moving forward of the bench seats, we have this beautiful ornament right here. This is the tow post that they used to use to attach line to and be able to tow vessels that were in distress back to shore. Now, it is mainly just used as a leg for a table and as a beautiful centerpiece of this vessel. And then forward of the engines and to the starboard, you have your helm station. This helm station is classic and beautifully well done. It's got nice glass over all of the dials, which can be lifted up if you ever need to access them, protects them from the weather. And then forward of that, we have two of our throttle and gear controls, gears on the outside levers and throttles in the center so you can move them with one hand. And then in front of that, we have a compass as well as a small Garmin unit. Now, heading into the interior down the center of the boat, the first thing you notice is more equipment. We have a Fusion stereo head unit here, VHF radio, an old siren, and on the starboard side, a panel here that controls all your radios, your blowers, your horns, your sirens, your voltage, everything that a standard boat would have. And then on the port side of this little entrance, there is storage, stuff for safety equipment, lines, towels, whatever you may need. And then as we head down these stairs here, we are in the interior of the vessel. Now, some things in here are how they were supposed to be from LA County. Some things in here have been upgraded to make it more of a pleasure vessel for people. But there's a couple things that I am going to point out. One of those things is the little television. That is not something that the LA County guys would have had. They would not be watching Baywatch as they're on their Baywatch vessel. 
However, some other things that are standard to this vessel is this really unique table here, which has the chart plotted in it. They have the old Baywatch 7 mechanics log back there, some photos of the vessel and all the vessels together, as well as a little commemorative County of Los Angeles Fire Department lifeguards patch. And just for fun, we're gonna go ahead and pop open this little mechanic log book here. This is from June 25th, 1979. Changed engine zincs, both engines. 4163. July 7th, 1984. Changed oil filters in both engines. So pretty fun little book here. And you can see that this log book goes all the way to 2014 when they auctioned it off. So pretty neat little book there. Looking behind me now, we have more storage, identical on port and starboard sides, as well as a little berth that runs the width of the vessel with an anchor locker up forward and another compartment down here for storage. Now coming back out of the interior with the help of a little movie magic, we've got the hatches up and that table I was talking about back on. You'll notice the vessel has Crusaders, 454s, 350 horsepower each, gas engines. They bring the boat up to a speed of about 25 knots with a cruising of about 20 knots. And uh, they do suck a bit of gas, that is for sure. And now with this engine room open, I can point out one of my favorite parts about this vessel, which is the access you have to all of the engine. Outboard, inboard side, you can do whatever work you need to do to these things and it'll be no issue, which means that I don't even have to crawl down in here and do the Christian test, which is perfect. So we're jumping right into the stars. Before we do though, I just wanna point out one last thing that I noticed, which is has to do with our little favorite ornament toe post here. And that is that just like a mast of a sailboat, it goes all the way down through the vessel and is mounted below to make sure that it has the strength to not break and actually tow something. So very fun little feature of that right before we go to the star view, which is happening now. All right, so we're back here down in the interior and we're gonna jump right into the stars, starting with performance. Performance for this Seaway is built in 1974, but it still has pretty decent numbers. It does 18 to 20 knots cruising, does a top speed of about 25 to 28 knots. And for that reason, I give it above average, which is six stars. And just a reminder for everybody, the star total is from one to 10, with five being average. This isn't high school, C is not average, five is average. So just keep that in mind when hearing the stars. For comfort, the vessel also gets a six. I think that the owners of this vessel did a great job in making it more comfortable from what used to be solely used as a commercial boat with things designed for life-saving purposes. For example, that back deck is very long, very big, perfect for lifting people on and off the back deck of a boat with a helicopter. And they went ahead and they put in those bench seats that look great and make the boat more comfortable. On the interior, they have got the little television, uh, they have the cushions, uh, the speaker system. They've done a really good job in making the vessel more comfortable. So for that reason, six above average comfort. For quality, the vessel gets a seven. The boat was built 50 years ago and it was built to last. Mainly constructed out of wood, it has held up incredibly well some fiberglass in some areas over some spots, but for the most part, the heavy, strong wood has really maintained the construction of this vessel, and 50 years later, it's still a tank. For practicality, I give the boat a six. I think it is a six because there are some things that the boat could do a little better. For example, this bed right behind me is kind of small for what is a 31-foot vessel. Um, there's no real proper head on it, but with those things being said, that's not what the boat was designed for. The boat was designed to help people in the surf to rescue boats out at sea. And I think that the size of the vessel with the open deck space and the way that it's been converted to carry people makes it a great day boat. You can pack people onto this thing, have drinks, spill them, not worry about damaging the vessel at all. It's big enough to pull into any dock or any party slip you wanna go see. So for that reason, I give it a six. And lastly, value. Value, I give a seven. I think value is above average, almost well above average. For a vessel that there are very few of, and by very few of, I mean only two of in private hands, you can get these things for less than $100,000 in great condition. And when I say you can get these things, I mean 
this one exists and the other one exists. That brings the star total for this vessel to 32 stars, which is great. It ties it with the Van Dutch 55 and the Parker 23 center console in my rankings, and it inches ahead of my Crystal Liner by just one point. The Crystal Liner and the CUA both do the same work out on the water in different manners. If you'd like to see a video of me comparing the two on that, be sure to leave a comment and let me know. And with that, the Baywatch special is over. Thank you for sailing with us. And if you're interested in this boat or in the Newport area, be sure to check out Newport Harbor Tours. It was very kind of them to lend me this vessel for this review.